You look now at Mission Bay, San Diego, California, the fastest of the race courses that we go on to, the Bill Muncie Memorial Hydroplane Course. Just outside the pit area here in San Diego is the Bill Muncie Memorial. Bill Muncie was the Babe Ruth of the sport, won more races than any other driver in the history. He was killed in 1981 while driving in Acapulco in the final race of the year. Now, ironically, on this very spot, I deliver the eulogy for his memorial service. With me is his widow, Fran Muncie. Now, Fran, after all that, why would you continue? Well, if it had been up to me, if I would thought of myself alone, I, I wouldn't have. Uh, Bill loved this sport. He was its greatest ambassador. Uh, I did it for him in, in his honor. He said, continue if I'm gone. Yes, he did. He, he always said, now, if something happens to me uh, and I can't drive, um, you get, it, get that boat to the next race and get another driver. Actually, he was responsible for the Thunderboats being here in San Diego. He was. Uh, he believed in the, the city and, and the, the people that are still intact right now for the committees. Uh, this is the fastest race course in the world because it's sea, at sea level and salt water. And it also happens to be the only memorial in the entire state of California that is dedicated to a civilian. Well, let's change gears just a little bit at this point in our program, and let's bring you up to date with the Mercury Outboard update from Bay City, Michigan. Here's Chris Lincoln. We're at the first IOGP event ever held in Bay City, Michigan. The competition is building the SST 140 class. Only two points separate the leaders. Let's get out of the dock now, as Walt Garbro explains. It's not the Hatfields or the McCoys, but there is a feud going on, and it's for the SST-140 World Championships. It's between the Trotters and the Millers. But sitting on the pole here in Bay City this weekend, it's number 57, the Miller High Life entry of Mr. Mark Trotter. Mark, you can take over the World Championship lead this weekend. Can you do it? I think we will. We've tried everything, borrowed a bunch of equipment from everybody else. I think we will this weekend. But I tell you what, the people from Castleberries, that's Kevin Miller. He's leading in the points he has all year. Kevin, can you continue to hold on to that lead for the World Championship? Oh, yeah, I think we had a little problem at the last race. We got it back together this race, and I think we can, we can take it. Okay, two great sponsors, a lot of great equipment. Some of it begged, borrowed, and stolen, but the feud may be ended right here this weekend. Extra pressure on point leader Kevin Miller, who caused an unusually narrow and unfamiliar course. Seawalls cause rough water conditions in preliminary events. Kevin is understandably nervous. I can see that there, there's going to be a little problem in the start when we round that first buoy with all the boats. It's, uh, there's a dock that's awful close over there that people are going to have to be aware of. And it's, it's probably one of the narrowest courses that we've run on. The start of the race found heat winners Mark Trotter in boat number 57 and his brother Mike Trotter in boat 79 in the top two pole position. Kevin Miller is third. As the boats headed toward the first turn, Mark Trotter pulled away, taking the clear water, leaving Mike and Kevin to fight the traffic and the spray. Positions remain the same for the first nine laps. Back markers jockeyed for position, but no one was able to catch the top three. Then on lap 10, Miller, using superior power and driving ability, powered past Mike Trotter to take second place. Through the next seven laps, he inched up on the leader, thoughts of losing that two-point spread on his mind. On lap 17, Miller was doggedly trying to gain ground. The pounding from the rough water conditions caused him to lose the whole cowling behind the driver's cockpit, allowing spray to flood the boat, drastically changing the aerodynamics. Nevertheless, Miller never slowed down for a second. Then on lap 23, summoning every ounce of horsepower from his 2.4 liter Mercury engine, Miller made a brilliant move at the troublesome first turn. First, swinging outside, then coming to the inside. He slipped past Trotter and grabbed the lead. Trotter swerved and lost some time. Miller allowed to gain the advantage for the completion of the race. Miller was jubilant at the finish, gathering a hard-earned victory and nine points toward the world championship title. Final results showed the Castlebury Foods entry driven by Kevin Miller, average a speed of 113 miles per hour, followed by the Miller Highlight boat of Mark Trotter. Mike Trotter, Trotter's off to a roll of Alan Wagner of Don Q. Rump. Season standings remain close, setting up another showdown at the next IOGP event. Join us then for more SST 140 racing. From Bay City, Michigan, this is Chris Lincoln. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Back here at San Diego, California, Mission Bay, unlimited Thunderbolt racing continues. Here's the performance corner brought to you by NGK, the source for serious power. For a couple of years, the buzzword around unlimited hydroplanes has been turbine. Jim, number one, what is a turbine engine? Well, uh, these turbine engines that we're using here are exactly an engine out of a Chinook helicopter, Dick. They uh, have been used for a good many years 
in, uh, in Vietnam and later on in the industrial service and the oil patch. So what is the difference when you put these in? Do you just plop them into a boat and they go out and run 150 miles an hour? The turbine engine is built and designed to run at high proficiency, always at the top end of the spectrum, whereas the piston engine, you know, you go up and down in speeds, varying everything like that, but a piston really, or a, excuse me, a turbine engine works best at the top of the level. You've been around them for a long time. Is it the wave of the future for the unlimited hydros? You know, as the sport gets safer and, and technology changes, it'll be a good engine, and, and everyone will probably come with it if they can, and uh, ev everything will start being competitive again. The competition, of course, with the turbines has improved. Well, we have the people waiting now for the start of heat 2A and 2B, over 125,000 strong. We have a report on the injured drivers from heat 1B. The drivers of both boats, uh, the Miss Madison, Ron Snyder, and John Prevost of the Circus Circus are both in the hospital uh, and doing just fine. The capsule, again, saved both uh, drivers' lives and uh, further injuries. More action coming from San Diego, California, the HFC American Hydroplane Series in just a moment.